as leaders, as public figures, as parents, and of course, as human beings, we must all do more to protect children's dreams. Because the future doesn't belong to us, it belongs to children. Young people are calling for a planet that can support them and future generations. Where our resources are sustainable and our environment is protected. And they are calling for peace. For an end to violence, an end to war, an end to the political and cultural divisions that destroy communities, tear families apart and endanger children's lives every single day. I'm convinced that social media doesn't have to be a place of fear, bullying and harassment. It can bring people together. It can be a place of love and support. Somewhere in the world right now, a teenage girl is being bullied online. She's scared, she's vulnerable, she feels alone. My message to her is this, you are not alone. There are people who care about you and there are people who will listen if you reach out for help. Young people like her are shouting for world leaders to hear, to listen and to act. Every one of you here today can be the loudspeaker that turns our voices into real change, into policies, programs, laws and investments that keep children safe, that make our world a better, healthier, stronger place for all. The best pathway to a better, more sustainable future for all is to invest in all children today. As we look forward to progress in the next 30 years, let's recommit to child rights. Let's make these rights real in programs, policies and services in every community, in every country around the world.